Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be talking about my courses and hopefully I should have tech stuff on the screen uh, throughout the video just to compliment what I'm saying. Um, firstly, just thank you for watching my last video if you did and thank you in advance for watching this one. Um, I hope you're enjoying them so far. So let's get into it. So I'm taking four courses for semester one and uh, what that means is basically courses, they're also called papers, uh, they're kind of your classes that you take in order to come out with your degree at the end, which in my case is a Bachelor of Global Studies um, and Law Conjoint, okay? So the four I'm taking for the semester, because there's two semesters in the year, uh, Global 100, Global 101, French 101G, and Law 121G, okay? So you'll notice that at the start, they kind of have uh, what kind of faculty or what subject they're about. For example, Global is from the kind of Global Studies uh, department, French is clearly going to be about French, and then the number on the end there is just about um, more specifically what course it is. So the difference between say Global 100 and Global 101 is that uh, Global 100 is on intercultural communication and Global 101 is on global issues and sustainable futures. Okay, And then you'll also notice that French and law both have a G at the, at the end of them and what that means is that they're general education courses. So the University of Auckland makes you take um, one or two, depending on the structure of your degree, um, general education courses. So they're just basically courses that you can take from anywhere across the university um, and they just complement your learning. You can take it in something that's specific to um, your degree or something that's more broad and something that you just have a general interest in. Okay, so I chose to start with French and also Law is also, for uh, for the first semester, a general education paper. Um, and then if you get a good enough mark, you'll be able to progress into the semester two law papers, um, which aren't general education. And then if you get a good enough mark in that, in those papers, then you'll be able to get into part two law. Okay, so if we just clear them away for a moment and we'll start with global 100, okay? So that's not all about intercultural communication. The format of that is uh, for this year at least. Uh, I'm going to tell you the format that it is for this year um, for all my courses and there may be some changes but at least you might have some idea of, of how it is. So the format for Global 100 is that there are, is one two-hour lecture a week and also one one-hour tutorial. Okay, and for assessments, we're assessed through a reflective piece, uh, two in-class tests, uh, a group audiovisual project, and an essay relating to that audiovisual project. Okay, um, I've really enjoyed the lectures so far. In fact, our first lecture was by a guest lecturer from the University of California, Irvine, who is in quite high up in the field of global studies. So that was really enjoyable. He talked about the different challenges that, we'll, that we will face as we get into studying global issues. He also talked about um, how it will be our generation that will actually be tasked with coming up, to, uh, coming up with solutions to a lot of what is going on now. Um, yeah, future leaders of tomorrow, if you will. Uh, and then we've also had a second lecture on global citizenship. So again, that was really interesting. Um, also, just on Global 100, uh, there's a lot of variety because it almost seems like every week we're moving to a different place. So, um, well, I'll have a lecture in the Marae, um, taught by someone who is a professor in the Māori Studies Department. There's a lecture in the Fale Pacifica, taught by someone who's from the Pacifica uh, studies unit. And so there's lots of different lecturers who have different perspectives. Um, so that's kind of a good amount of variety that I really like. Okay, moving on 
now, I suppose, to Global 101. Um, so that's about global issues and sustainable futures. So basically, we focus on sustainability within that. And that has the format of three one-hour lectures, okay, uh, a week. Um, and included in the, those lecture slots are two panel discussions. Um, and what that means is basically for Global 101, we have seven different modules, okay? So we're going to learn about sustainability from seven different perspectives, from uh, the creative arts and industry perspective, from an external business perspective, from a science perspective, a law, sociology, um, political, um, all these different perspectives. And then we'll have two panel discussions where the various lecturers who have taught each of those modules, some are from science, some are from creative arts and industries, uh, some are from law, will come in and we'll be able to ask them questions about sustainability, hear their answers, uh, and also they'll be able to interact with the other lecturers on, on issues of sustainability. So again, I love the variety of that. That's a, probably a close second for my favorite subject. Um, just because of all the variety and I've really enjoyed some of the interesting topics that we've discussed especially um, the sociology lecture which was all about how culture impacts whether or not we're, we behave in sustainable manners and so like our belief systems and values so that was really interesting um, and for that we are assessed through two assignments um, an in-class test and an exam, okay? So I know when I keep saying all these different various things you'll be assessed through, it sounds like a lot, but you've got to remember that at the same time, the more assessments there are, the smaller the percentage of your final mark that they make up, so you can slowly build up that mark rather than doing 100% in a big exam at the end of the year. So I personally think it outweighs um, having to do a little bit, a few more assignments or tests before your exam. So that's all I really had to say. Please do leave any questions below. Um, I've really enjoyed making this video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, and I'll see you in two weeks time. Bye.